Hello guys, and welcome back to another Let's Play of Kerbal Space Program. Today we are building a rocket that will take us pretty far away. I don't have any real plans for this episode, I'm just building off my head. And we'll see how we do. Nuclear engine. And four of these. And a couple of these. Now, this is a trick you can do. It, you're putting some tanks on here. And then putting smaller engines or so for your landing gear. So I'm doing this, so you don't have to for anyone, which I don't think there is, but for people. I'm just going to do this. I want this to be just like just above the main engine. What's the main engine is a nuclear engine, it's pretty high. So then I just get some the LV 909s. Going to get rid of this for a second. Get a decoupler. Mm, which one? This one. Decoupler. Yeah, you can put all your instruments on here, and then your parachute for the thing on there, or docking adapters, or whatever. I haven't used a docking adapter for a while. Let's see. It's not going to do anything. <laughs> see, you just want to get one of these. And another one. Then it hooks on like that. Um, as I said, I haven't done this for quite a while. Um, I'm a bit out of whack. True fact. I'm putting a one of these on here. It's going to contain all the RCS and stuff, monopropellant, whatever, for your systems. Seen them before? Might want to try them out soon. If you do it like this, so it's sort of halfway through, it's not quite right. If you do it halfway ish through, it will actually be most efficient for thrust wise. So now that I've got that, I need to add my actual monopropellant onto this thing. Get some propulsion. So I think this episode will probably be just a build video, I don't really know, because as I have probably said before, I don't know half at all, but I can't read, I can't predict the future, so I have no honest idea of what's going to happen today. And just so you know, is it? What? Uh, what? What? Okay, I can't do F12. So that's how you adjust the volume in a Mac, apparently. I had no idea. Because I'm just used to just doing it up here. I didn't know you could actually, like, flip the switch. That specifically says... That's mute, down, and up. So when you're on mute, you press F11 and it'll go to back to where you were. Okay, so now we'll just turn that down for now. This is going to be like a sort of science section. It's, I don't want these, actually. I'm going to have yet another one of our 
modular girder adapters. That's huge on this. I didn't realize that was that big. I put ye old decoupler again. So I'm building an ion drive or something. I've got. Whoa, that's so cool. Oh, whatever. Okay, next. So it's one, and it's not working. Now it is. We've got to like bring it on from an angle, otherwise it doesn't work. Apparently. The second one's fine though, so figure that one out. <laughs> um, I want ye old ion drive. Where are they? Probably gone faster about five times. It's a utility, isn't it? Yeah. Really, really big docking adapters. Why I didn't just use it a coupler? I'm gonna get a lot of delta V on this. This only has two thrusts though. It doesn't use much fuel as you can see. But it does use a bit of electricity, so. I always like to put two on because it's nice and uniform and it looks cool. Just don't try and get them inside things. Dang it. Put it in. Yeah, that's good enough. So, now we're going to need some power battery things. Because when we get on the dark side of the planet of some sort, we'll need them. Um, what else? Put a few of these on just for extra fuel. Because the iron drives, you can never have too much fuel because it actually has a lot of thrust for its size. <laughs> I got that there. This is going to be like an orbiter. I'm going to put some instruments on it. I don't think this thing will be able to go into the atmosphere. I'm not going to even bother. I don't know why I'm putting these instruments on, by the way, because I'm not actually going to go. I'm not in science mode. Um. Need a gravity only detector and an aerial, preferably on the top, which is actually down here. Two aerials. That should be good. And I put some of these nose cones. These are atmospheric sensing nose cones. They're really cool. I like them. Gonna put them on. How are we going for time? Uh, eight minutes, I think. Yeah, that's pretty good. Mm, negative gravioli. And comms. You always need your comms. Never forget your comms. They're like really important. It's like some somewhat close to the actual solar panels. And mystery goo, if you're gonna bring it, bring a bit of it. Because it is quite but it's only one use if you transmit it and stuff. It's only ever one use, which is terrible. Actually, I don't need to bring up this many people, do I? The couple in this whole section. I'm gonna replace it with a scientific thing. Okay, this is way too many things. Put that 
space now. Get the solvent holes. There. And how do I get this now? It's gonna be tricky. E. No. I can't do it. Get rid of that. Bring this down to here. Like so. Get some more solar panels and four symmetry probably. We can do eight. Okay, that's weird. Okay, that should be good for now actually. But I don't think I'm going to be able to land this entire thing on a planet. Unless it was like a moon of some sort. Not the moon, that's nowhere near enough thrust for it actually, I don't think. Well, there's one way to test it. And that's to launch the rocket on Earth. If it doesn't fly, uh, but it's sort of hovering a bit, and then you're good enough to go. Okay, I've got these four in a stage. No, I hate this now. I've been playing simple rockets. Okay, now try and get it to... Assembly. I'm gonna try and get rid of those pillar things because I don't like them. Just wasting height, giving too much height to it. And half that, like that, it's better. So we can take them all off now. Oh yeah, that's way better. That off there, move these two. That's yeah, that's better already. Add some struts. Like so, this is actually looking pretty good. Reminds me. This is our lander. I'll probably see you in the next video where we're going to send this to another planet using very large stages. <laughs> um, so all I really have to say now is thanks to us for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please punch that like button in the face like a boss. And see you in the next video. So goodbye. Um, actually. And see if this can fly with. No, it won't fit. I'm gonna see if this will fly. Don't ask why, I'm just seeing if this will fly. Because it's awesome. So, after this, I'll end the video off with this bright engine. Oh yeah. Oh it, it, yeah. I'm just seeing how much of a thing we do. Okay, it's I'm not used to this mouse. Well, okay, don't tip over anymore, please, sir. Sir, whoa, you're really maneuvering. You not you don't have the wibble wobbles anymore. So yeah, thanks guys for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, and subscribe for me to blow up some more ships and then utterly destroy them because I've got parachutes. 
So thanks guys for watching. If you enjoyed, please like, comment, and subscribe.